Hello everybody, if you are like me and you are playing Animal Crossing New Horizons and you are still struggling to get big sums of money, or any money at all, or you just need help catching a sturgeon, in this video I will give you the best strategies and tips to help you farm sturgeons from most of the mystery islands. Since the new update, this farming method is far better than the scorpion or tarantula farming. From doing this sturgeon farming method, you can earn 585,000 bells in 30 minutes or less, and that's being generous. First of all, you will need to find a mystery island with a river on it that leads out into the ocean, which is called a river den. With that in mind, you can do this method properly with one of these five islands. Short River Island number two, which is a 10% chance of spawning in. A sister fruit island, which is 10% chance of landing as well. A curvy river island, which is a 7% chance. And a big fish island number two, which is a 3% chance. Big fish island number one has no den, so you can't do it in that island. And the best island for this method, from my point of view, is the short river island number one, which is a 10% chance. All up, you have a 40% chance to get one of these islands, which is fairly common. Once you have found one of these five islands, jump across to the part of the island where you have the most space to run around and scare off the most fish and run back to the river den, of course. Once you have found a clear path from the river den to the body of the river to scare off the fish that aren't in the river den, run back and forth to scare the fish away and if the fish don't scare away throw your rod in and once the fish get attracted to your rod lift your rod up so then they get scared away that way once you have scared off a couple of fish in the body of the river run back to your river den and the sturgeon should have spawned in the more fish you clear away from the body of water the more chances you will have of spawning in the sturgeon sometimes you may not be able to reach the fish in the body of water to scare them away or reach them with your rod so you will need to you get your pole vault out and jump across the river to scare them away. Sometimes you may need to get your ladder out and climb up to the top cliff when there are fish in the pond up there also. The sturgeon will not spawn in when there are two fish at the top cliff. It is okay if there is one up there but when you see two fish at the top cliff you will need to go up and scare them away. If you continue this process of running back from the den to the main body of water to scare the fish away and then back to the den to catch your sturgeon, you should have your whole inventory filled up with sturgeons within 30 minutes. And 30 minutes is being generous. I missed sturgeons so many times where I could have caught a fish. I'm not the best fisherman, so you can do it even quicker. This method is much better than the tarantula farming or scorpion farming. It's faster and you don't have to chop down any trees and you get almost as much money, if not better. So I definitely recommend for you to try this sturgeon farming method. You have a 40% chance of finding one of these river den islands and you will be able to do this no problem at all. Once you have caught the 30 sturgeon fish and take them back to Timmy and Tommy, they will offer you 390,000 bells for all of the sturgeons. If that price is not enough for you and you want to wait for CJ, CJ will offer you a price of 1.5 times the amount of fish compared to Timmy and Tommy. So CJ will offer you a total of 585,000 bells. So that's a big stack of money for doing very little work. Just going to a mystery island, fishing for 25 minutes or 30 minutes to fill up your inventory and coming back and selling it is not a bad deal. Now, if you enjoyed this video at all, if you think it was helpful somewhat, please give the video a like, it helps a lot. And don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot of other helpful videos on the channel, like my scorpion farming video and my fishing and bug guides for each month. 
please support your new favorite Australian YouTuber and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.